welcome to the Layla Unplug Solo lesson. Hopefully you've watched the rhythm lesson and there's a link up there, you click that I or in the description box below where the first pinned comment, it'll take you to my website. You can watch that um, rhythm lesson there. And actually, you know, my website is really the best place to watch uh, all these videos that I make. It's just way more organized and easier to get around. Um, a lot of people will complain that I, you know, I, they say things like, hey man, you know, you should really play this song before you teach it. And I always do, but sometimes it's in a separate video. And that's really just so easy to deal with on the website. It's um, a nightmare on YouTube. It's hard to find things, right? So it's always best to go to the website. Anyways, let's get on with it here. We're in the key of D minor. And we're going to start up here in position four of D minor pentatonic. Okay, which is, you know, we're kind of between D minor pentatonic and D minor, right? So we're going to add that second, that E note. And the lick is this. We're just going the seventh fret uh, D, seventh fret G, to the E note on B5. And that's the phrase. Right? Now, I'm not going to call every note and every fret on this because um, it's all right there. You can see it. Now, we're going to slide up with that middle finger and do that again, sliding up to here to the A note on B10. And that's a position shift, right? So we've gone from that kind of fourth position to... the fifth position by hitting that note. Now we're going to position shift again and we're going to come up to B13 which gets us into that position one uh, D minor pentatonic or D minor. So we've got that lick, which is, and we're hitting that E note again there, right? The second. That's the phrase. Like this whole solo, this one and the middle solo, it's all about phrasing. And Clapton is like the master of phrasing. You know, all these little phrases he comes up with are just so perfect and so well played. So, then we're going to finish off with and then we're going to do a little quick slide from the A note to the G note on the D string. We just got the A note on E5 to the C note on E8. And then we're into the rhythm and watch a rhythm lesson to get all the rhythm stuff. Okay, so that's the first solo. Let's head into the second solo. So all right, that's the first lick. Super cool. So we're gonna start with this again. We're in the D, D minor pentatonic shape, and we're gonna just get those two notes of that D minor chord and put a little bend on both of them. It's kind of like like being here. You know, on but we're doing it here. And we're gonna push them, and it's kind of like a you 
You know that ZZ Top song, right? It's a little trick that you can use in like all you're playing. It, no matter what you know your tune you're playing, you can you can use that. So we're gonna go. Da 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 da. That's the D note on um, G7. Now. chromatic in there. And they're phrases and you gotta learn them, right? <laughs> Moving on, now we're gonna come way up here and we're kind of we're kind of in position two. D minor pentatonic, and we're gonna grab these two notes, with the A note and the C note. That's the 14th fret of the G, 13th fret of the B. And we're gonna go. Okay, so we just do that a bunch of times, and we're gonna end it up with. And make sure you slide down with the middle finger. So, and now we're going to go up the pentatonic scale. Okay, really, uh, it's all phrasing, right? say I can't name every note because um, it would be here forever but they're phrases so from here it's hard to break these down like individually because they all run together. So we're going back down to the fourth position and doing really similar lick to that we did earlier. Moving on, we're going to come back up to position one, and we're just going to put a little push band there on um, the 13th fret of the E string, down to the 10th. So we're pulling in that E note again, the second. And then the flat five. On G13. Now it's just E string, B string on the 10th. Right? Super cool phrasing. Now So think of D minor here, right? And we just do an arpeggio. Not quite an arpeggio, because we're going to the second there. That's the 15th of the E. 
to the uh, 13th. And a little push on that. Now, A14, B15, uh, E12, 13, 15. Okay. <laughs> you know, weird. It's kind of weird phrasing there. You have to learn it, right? So let me play that whole thing. Then sliding in from that flat five. And kind of a muted hit on that G string. Really cool lick. And are we going to do this sort of double stop? Um, that's G, what is that, 9 and B10. finish off with we're back down here now and we've got um, the C note on G5 pull off from D6 um, to D5 and ending up on that F note on A9 So from here, okay, and that is it for the middle solo. So let's do that whole thing. You can sort of tell that he didn't jam this solo. I mean, this is just my opinion. Because when I did my demo, I also played the bass. And the bass is is putting in licks that mirror what the guitar does, which leads me to believe that, you know, he wrote this solo. This is written for that performance, note for note. And I always felt Clapton was best when he writes solos in and plays them note for note like he did with Cream. So just my opinion. So take it for what it's worth. And I hope you get something out of this lesson. I hope you enjoy playing it. And we'll talk to you next time.